The next uh, topic is the what is it actually happened at the electrode? So you can imagine now you have some metal or some conductor, you put it in the solution, and then you apply the charge. You apply the charge. So obviously uh, the charge must be balanced, right? If you if you generate some negative charge, then you're gonna have to balance it somewhere with the positive charge. So here in the electrode, at the electrode, for example, if you apply the negative charge, negative potential to the electrode, then you're gonna have the positive charge positive ion basically to balance the charge here. In contrast, if you apply the positive potential, then you can have the positive charge here. And then you need the anion or negative ion to balance the charge here. And you can see that this is one layer. This is another layer. So that's why this is called electrical double layer. But this is the simple model this is a simple model which is not like 100 percent accurate the actual model the actual model is given in your uh handout but let's uh, let's see this first so what is the actual model let's see what if we apply the negative potential to the electrode if we apply the ne negative potential to the electrode in the solution actually what's going to happen is that you're going to have the molecule of the solvent the molecule of the solvent on the electrode surface so that's the actual first layer but there may be some species maybe cat, maybe counter ion maybe ion with the same chart that can be specific specifically adsorbed on the electrode it can be positive ion or negative ion, but it has some specific chemical interaction to the electrode. And that's why the first layer here is actually not the counter charge ions, but it, it, it is the solvent and some specifically adsorbed ions. And this layer is called inner Helmholtz uh, plane. Oh, I put it later. Okay. So this is the first layer. And then the second layer is going to be the counter ion layer. Like we apply the negative, we apply the negative potential. So your counter ion is gonna be your positive ion, your cat ion, but it's gonna be a little bit further from the electrode surface than this solvent or the specifically negative ion. And this ion is actually solvated or hydrated by the molecule of the solvent, like this cat ion is surrounded by water molecule. And uh further from the electrode you're gonna have the ion with the counter charge right and yeah and then the first layer and then this the first layer is called inner hem host plane or ihp the external one is called outer hem host plane or ohp you are not expect to remember anything here right okay just so you know yeah but at least you're gonna have to like be able to explain what is the role of electrical double layer in the experiment which we're going to talk about it later. So now, uh, let's see. Again, we have the metal ion. Oh, no. We have the metal, metal uh, electrode or some conductor put into the solution. And if we apply the negative potential, for example, then you're going to have the, the, the counter charge ion, like in this case, the positive ion or the cation. But this cation is not going to be like too close to the electrode surface because the first layer is actually going to be the water molecule because you have a lot of water also in molecule in the first layer. And you may have some specifically adsorbed ion. It can be either positive or negative ion, but most textbook uh, put the, ne the, the anion, so I, I follow them here. So it can be any ion. And then this first layer of the solvent and the, the specifically adsorbed ion is called inner hem host plane here, inner hem host plane. Your, but then your counter charge ion or your cat ion that comes to balance the charge of your negative electrode is gonna come close to the electrode, but not so much. And this uh, distance, this layer is called outer hem host plane or ohp 
outer hem host plane. And uh, this tends after the outer hem host plane is called diffuse layer. And most textbooks give you the number like the inner hem host and the outer hem host plane combined has the distance around 10 angstrom. And the diffuse layer gonna be like maybe 500 angstrom, and, uh, but I don't care about this number at this level. So you just can ignore this information here. So uh, what is the concept of this page is that uh, you, you apply the potential to the electrode, you're gonna have some the counter charge, the ion with counter charge uh, rearranged on the electrode surface, but it's not so close to the electrode. It is further, actually, it is actually further than the solvent molecule and the specifically uh, adsorbed ion. Okay. So what is the importance of the electrical double layer? It turns out that there are two things occur here. The first thing is that since your counter ion can come close to the electrode at some potential, it means that this ion is not going to experience the potential that you are applying. For example, if you uh, connect this electrode to your potential that and say, okay, I want to apply, uh, my, let's say, minus one volt. So your ion here is not going to experience minus one volt it's going to be some volt which is uh, lower in magnitude than that, like maybe mi minus 0 0.7, minus 0 0.6, something like that, like that. So with that, you're going to need to apply more potential than what you predict from the Nernst equation. So that's the first uh, reason. The second effect on the electrical double layer is that if you remember your uh, physics, I don't know if you remember or not, if you remember from your physics, this is the plane of the negative charge. This is going to be the plane of the positive charge. And the plane of the positive and negative charge is basically capacitor, right? It's actually electrical capacitor. So turns out that your electrical double layer acts as the electrical capacitor. And then your solution can, can, can conduct electricity, but it has some uh, resistance. So actually, this is RC circuit. This is actually RC circuit, which means that if you apply some potential, then you can uh, basically apply your potential to the RC circuit, which which turns out that you're gonna have you uh, the potential that you apply to it gonna rearrange the ion at the electrode surface, and you're gonna have the current called charging current. Again. Because this uh, electrical double layer structure acts as the electrical capacitor, it means that when you apply the potential to it, it will charge this layer, and this uh, charging is gonna occur. It's gonna generate the charging current. Or you can think about this: you have a lot of ion here, right? And then when you apply the positive charge or negative charge to the electrode, then these ions have to rearrange themselves. And this kind of this rearranging process, you have your ion, you have ion, uh, you have the movement of the ion, right? And then you learn from physics that the movement of the charge or the movement of the ion is basically current. This current is called charging current. All right. So these are two effects of the electrical double layer. The first effect is that your species will experience less magnitude of the potential that you're applying. The second uh, effect is that it will uh, contribute to the something called charging current from applying the voltage. <laughs>